15.6a, square roots of negatives. Let's start by defining what the square root of negative one is. We write it as i. So therefore, i squared would be the square root of negative one squared. Since the square root of a square means we just get whatever's inside, or negative one. So now we can calculate any of the roots that have negatives inside. This will now be written as the square root of negative one times five squared, which then becomes five i. Expressions with radicals. We always simplify the radical first. So let's look at example one. Here's example one. It is negative 45. Let's start by first factoring this out. I would have a negative one and a 45, a five and a nine, and a three and a three. This means that it can be rewritten as negative one times three squared times five. Remember that a negative one comes out as an i, three squared comes out as a three, and the five would stay inside. This means that the square root of negative 45 is actually three i square root five. Let's look at another example. Here's example two. In this example, we first want to simplify the radical, and then we will worry about multiplying them together. So, in this first one, we have i square root six, because remember that six, negative six can be broken up into negative one and six, the negative one coming out as an i. This will then be multiplied by the other one, which is negative one times ten, or i root ten. Now we can multiply them together by multiplying the outsides, making it i squared, and multiplying the insides, making it sixty. We now need to simplify the square root of sixty, and we also need to simplify the outside, or the i squared. Remember that i squared equals negative one. So we actually have negative one square root sixty. Remember sixty breaks down into four and fifteen. We know the square root of four is two, so now we have negative two square root fifteen, which can be simplified no further. Remember, when finding square roots of negatives, that the square root of negative one is i, and that i squared is negative one. Also make sure to simplify the radical before you start multiplying them together, as shown in example two.